Hi guys, Wine Tuber here, and today I'm going to talk about the best cuvee, best wine of top 10 best selling champagne houses in the world. So, let's get started. Before we start, many thanks to Amori Restaurant for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe. Canard Duchenne House was founded in 1868 by Victor Canard and Leonie Duchenne. Their top champagne is called Cuvée V and the current release is 2010 vintage. This wine is a blend of 60% Pinot Noir, 30% Chardonnay and 10% Pinot Meunier. It's aged in the cellar for 12 years and all the grapes come from the Grand Cru sites. The retail price is 120 euro per bottle and the dosage is 4 grams of sugar per liter. La Seon was founded in 1760 and is one of the oldest champagne houses in the Champagne area. Their top champagne is called Nob and it's available in two versions, Brut Vintage and Blanc de Blanc Vintage. Grapes come from the five different Grand Cru villages. Both wines are aged for 18 years and the sash is around 6 grams of sugar per liter. The retail price is 150 euro per bottle. Piper Heitzig was founded in 1785 by Florent Louis Heitzig in Rance. Apart from famous rare vintage champagne, Piper Heitzig is producing one of the rarest sparkling wine called Or Sieri, which was aged for 50 years and the current release is 1971. It's a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay from 12 different crews. Dosage is 12 grams of sugar per liter and the retail price is 600 euro. So you should hurry up as only 2021 bottles were produced. Pomery is another house on the list that is based in Rance and was founded in 1858. This house is very well known of their vintage Louis Pomery champagne. However, Le Clou Pompadour is their top cuvee. The current release is 2004 vintage and is a blend of 75% Chardonnay, 20% Pinot Noir and 5% Meunier. By the way, there is no information on the Pomery website about the aging. The fun fact about this champagne is that it was only released in Magnum bottles and the retail price is 700 euro. Dosage, by the way, is 8 grams of sugar per liter. Tetanger is one of the oldest champagne houses founded in 1734 in Rance and quite ambitious in terms of expanding with the sparkling wine production. They are co-owners of Domain Carneros in Napa Valley and also planted wines in Kent, England. Their first vintage of the Domain Evermont will be released in 2023, which is next year. Back to the Champagne region, Tetanger top wine is called Comte de Champagne and the first vintage was made in 1952, 70 years ago. The current release is 2011 and is made of Chardonnay grapes only that comes from the five Grand Cru villages of the Côte de Blanc region. Wine is aged for 10 years and the retail price is 200 euro and 5 per bottle. Final dosage is 9 grams of sugar per liter. Laurent Perrier was founded in 1812 and is the largest family and female-owned champagne house in the region. Grand Cycle Assemblage number 25 is the only prestige cuvee on this list that is non-vintage. Actually, we can say that it's a multi-vintage as it's a blend of three exceptional years, 2008, 2007 and 2006. This wine is a combination of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grapes that comes from the 11 of the 17 existing Grand Cru's in the Champagne region. Wine is aged in the cellar for 10 years and the retail price is 180 euro per bottle. Dosage is 7 grams of sugar per liter. GH Mam is another house located in Rance, in the heart of the Champagne region since 1827. 
Mum is owned by Pernod Ricard and is the fourth largest producer in Champagne region by volume. Their top champagne is called Cuvée Lalou and the current release is 2006 vintage. This is a blend of 50% Pinot Noir and 50% Chardonnay from the Grand Cru villages vinified separately and aged in the cellar for 10 years. The retail price is 140 euro per bottle and the final dosage is 6 grams of sugar per liter. Nicolas Foyat is the youngest large champagne house and was founded in 1976. Their top cuvee is called Palme d'Or and the current vintage is 2008. This wine is a blend of 50% Chardonnay and 50% Pinot Noir. This prestige cuvee is made up of 95% Grand Cru villages and it's aged in the cellar for 10 years. By the way, there is a pink version of Palme d'Or and it's called Rosé Intense. The retail price of Palme d'Or Brut 2008 is 135 euro per bottle and dosage is 6.9 grams of sugar per liter. Veuf Clicquot was established in 1772 in Reims and it translates to Widow Clicquot named for the first woman who ran a champagne house. Veuve Clicquot Prestige Cuvée is called La Grande Dame and was introduced in 1972 to celebrate the Veuve Clicquot 200 anniversary. The current vintage of La Grande Dame is 2012 and is a blend of 90% Pinot Noir and 10% Chardonnay. Grapes comes from Grand Cru villages and the wine is aged for a minimum 7 years. Retail price is 220 euro per bottle and the dosage is 6 grams of sugar per liter. It's good to know that the pink version of La Grande Dame is also produced. Moet and Chandon was founded in 1743 in Epernay and this is the most branded champagne house in the world, also the biggest by volume also part of the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy group. I'm sure that most of you is familiar with vintage Dom Perignon produced by Moet and Chandon and it's normally released about 9 years after the harvest. The level above is called P2 and it's normally released after 15 years from the harvest. Finally, P3 is aged on the list for a minimum of 20 years and can be released even up to 40 years from the harvest, depending on the stage of maturity. As P3 is super rare, I will focus today on P2. The current vintage is 2004, which is a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir that was aged for 15 years. The retail price is 500 euro a bottle and there is no info about dosage on the Moet and Chandon website. Thank you for watching. If you like to taste all of those champagnes, you probably need to save approximately 3000 euro, which is not too bad. By the way, don't miss out my next video about wines of Tasmania, so stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!